All right, Gavin, we're going to watch your breast cervix here. Um, it's always good. We have we like to take some different views uh, so we can see what it looks like above water, below water, because it's always interesting to see what else we can see. All right, so the one thing I like real quick is we can see that head starts to break as her hands start to press out. That helps really make an early breath, which breaststroke is all about timing. So if you're breathing early, you're able to get your head down into your stroke so much better. Excellent job. Okay, I love how high you come up in the water here. I love how your head is nice and still. It's kind of in line with your back, in line with your shoulders, in line with your neck. Everything looked great there. I'd like to see those hands up a little bit. Um, I don't want them above the water, right? But there we go, right at the surface, and then keep them up high. Because we saw underwater, your hands were a little bit low at times. But that's a great job of letting your head just fall right into your stroke. Um, good job of pressing your hands out to the side. Again, good breath. All right, so your feet just came together here, which is excellent, and you're just starting that pull. So I wanted to kind of see, and then as you get closer, it's a little bit easier to see certain things. Um, but you do a great job of finishing your kick. You've got a really nice breaststroke here, Gavin. It's very impressive. Love how your hands are pressing out the side. That head's coming up nice and early. Again, there's no head movement from you at all. The one thing I think we could do is get it maybe just a little bit deeper with that in the water. You can just drop that head down and roll your shoulders forward. That's going to help. But great job of finishing your kick. As we get into that turn here, excellent job of a two-hand touch. Try not to bring that head quite so close. I mean, you can see you're basically touching that head right on that hand that's on the wall. What you really want to try and do is as your hands hit that wall, Start to fall back a little bit. Let the right hand stay on the wall, on the wall as your left hand comes into your side, and let that right hand come off a little bit quicker. So you don't want to go and, and follow quite so far into that wall. You can see that your feet are really hitting the wall right here and your hand's still on. To make a quicker transition, if you're going to actually be a little bit further away from the wall when you're doing the turn, and then you can bring that hand off before your feet touch, that'll be a perfect turn. We want to make sure we're transitioning from one direction to the next as quickly as we can. Nice streamline. Um, nice streamline, but it could be better. You can see that your hands aren't completely together. Make sure your hands are locked one on top of the other. But here we are getting to the flag. We're just starting the dolphin kick, which is absolutely excellent. Good pull. Again, we kind of talked about on the underwater, you can see your hands are out to your side. If you bring those hands and put them on the front of your thighs, your shoulders will become hunched, and that'll actually keep you in a little bit more of a streamlined position. I call these like angel wings, where your hands are just kind of floating out there. Just drive them into your thighs. Great underwater kick and, and distance. I mean, seriously, so here's, here's the red marker. It's the first red marker. Here's the red marker. You're just past that even. So you're about four body lengths past those flags. That's incredible. Gavin, well done.